Ladies and gentlemen, it is time to break them air fryers out because I have a recipe for you. We are making delicious garlic butter shrimp right out of that air fryer. And I'm about to show you how it's done. So let's get started. And if you haven't already, don't forget to follow your boy on Instagram. So let's get into it. These are the ingredients that we will be working with. We have some peeled and deveined shrimp and we have all sorts of ingredients listed on the screen. I will list them in the description box as well. So let's get on to it. So go ahead and get your shrimp in a bowl. I'm just going to drizzle a little bit of oil on these bad boys and we are going to season them up proper because you know how we rock over here and whip it up with Jay. Ain't nothing bland over here whatsoever at all. Oh, you know the motto. Come on, man. So go ahead and season these shrimp up with all the seasonings listed. Once that's all said and done, we are going to get these hands in there and give it a nice little mix. And yes, we have some fresh minced garlic in there. That is the start of the show. You know, I love me some garlic. Let's go ahead and mix this up. And once that's all said and done, you're going to go ahead and get your air fryer basket out. And we are going to create kind of like a little a pocket or a bowl with some aluminum foil. So none of that butter goes and gets all over your air fryer uh, a basket or whatnot. Go ahead and create a nice little pocket, little bowl, whatever. And we are going to get all of our shrimp in here. We're going to transfer every single one of the shrimp right into this aluminum foil. Once that's all said and done, we are going to pour in that melted up butter and again, unsalted butter because we want to control the amount of sodium in our recipe. So do not use salted butter. I never even buy the stuff. It's kind of pointless. Always buy unsalted. So we got our shrimp in there. We are now going to pour in that melted butter and we're going to toss this in our air fryer and let it do its thing for about five to six minutes it kind of depends on the size of your shrimp these are large shrimp um and this is the end result right here look at this look at this goodness right here tell me this does not look good this is delicious right here oh my gosh and i can't wait for you to try it on your own it's a nice easy simple recipe takes no time at all and i want you to try it and let me know what you think i'll see you on the next one guys Deuces.